Got someone on your list for Christmas this holiday season that's a big Pokemon fan? Okay. Snorlax fan? I guess he's a fat panda-ish character that sleeps all the time. He snores and he relaxes. And you usually find him just sitting or sleeping. Well, this Snorlax is coming to town with a sack of gifts on his back. I guess he's impersonating good old Santa Claus here. Well, as you can see, not the tip top. Wasn't printed on a resin printer. Speed printed on maybe, I don't know which one over there, the Ender, Ender 3. Not sure. It's got some fuzzies. It's got some jumpies. It's meant to be. When at the end, we're going to put some hot glue here with the hook, and Mr. Snorlax is going to become someone's Christmas decoration, Christmas ornament on the tree. Uh, the goal on this one is we're going to go over it real quick, and we're going to try and paint it as fast as we can, as neat as we can on this one. Because, like I said, this is going to be a Christmas gift for somebody. So we're going to need some of the blue color here, the red color here, probably some white over here. Uh, I'm just going to clean them up real quick, and then I already painted them, I already primed them, did my traditional gray from the bottom, white from the top. As you can see, this stuff will be darker, this stuff will be lighter. The way I like to do it, uh, there's little dimples here, yeah, I mean, it's a, there's a hole there. It's a Christmas ornament. Am I trying to do the best thing I can here? No. It's a Christmas ornament. The painting of my hand is the gift. Not how clean or not clean the dimples may be. Let's see. Yes, it looks homemade. It looks like it's made on an FDM printer. I did not use a resin printer on this one. Could I have used a resin printer? Of course. Why didn't I? Uh, two things. My resin printer is not working at the moment. And because it's a Christmas ornament. It's a handmade Christmas ornament. It's painted. Uh, I believe that it has a better chance of survival if it were to fall off the tree. I've seen resin be very brittle in certain circumstances. Um, of course, you can't I mean, I don't have this printer dialed in like all you guys. I don't, I'm not there. So there's going to be some dibbles and some wibbles here and there. Liar lines. Yep. It's there. You want to buy one? Buy one. You want to make one? Make one. Mine's going to have some liar lines on it. Uh, like I said, I think if it were to fall off the tree accidentally, or on purpose, or accidentally, uh, I think it'll have a better chance of survival than a uh, a resin one. From what I've seen resin recently, seen some posts on Facebook that resin is is real brittle. I wasn't aware of that fact. You could say that I knew that before printing this, and that's why I used it. That's an after fact. But I didn't know that I can play it off like I did. Alright, so if we're going to go white here, bluish here, red here, uh, what kind of red are we going to use? Christmas red? What's Christmas red? Christmas red is going to be not poppy orange. Christmas red is going to be a combination of, well, I would have said brilliant red, but it looks like red. red. Let's use um, whatever color that is. Red, man. I don't know. It's red. I need my, my good old fish plate, though. Keep this video rolling. I'll be back with my fish plate in a second. How about while we're here? Just Poops and giggles. We try some, uh, let's do a test. 
we have good old red contrast blood angels and then we have the good old uh, Mephiston let's see which one we like better oh I gotta clean this brush that's gross oh, just looking at some more nice color anyway. if you haven't seen my other videos up to now go watch some other videos if you would though give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe hit that like you know that stuff you're supposed to do if you like to do that kind of stuff other videos that we have recently painting of saber tooth i think he's like a 24 inch saber tooth or he's going to be 24 inches once we get him on the base we also started painting some uh jessica cruises if you're a green lantern fan check out those videos today's the painting of a Christmas ornament Snorlax. Let's get that red. So let's touch that red versus that red. More Christmassy over here. Hmm. What do you think? Left, right, left. All right, left, 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 left. We're going with this. Let's put some of this. That's probably all we need. Can't put it back in the tube. Damn it, I got it on my Star Wars shirt. Alright, let's give this a whirl. Now we're just going to, uh, yes, this is a gift. Do I want to be spending hours painting this? No. If you're like me, or you're not, or you are, I would say, rough estimate, crap, 200? Is that off? Does that sound crazy? First number that popped in my head. How many ornaments do you have on your tray? 200? Pretty <laughs> that aggressive. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, look. I'll retract the 200. There's at least 100 ornaments on my tray. I would bet all the paint in my workshop on that one. That there's at least 100 ornaments on my tray. And if that means you're like me, even if Snorlax happens to be your favorite Pokemon, even if you have other Christmas ornaments that mean something to you, way more than this. If anything and everything is the same, this guy's going to be one out of 100 on the Christmas tree. Do I give a bag of boom bots that this has layer lines? No. If this was for a kid, this was for an adult Pokemon fan. You think they're going to care that it has some layer lines? Put the paint on a little thicker. Look. See the layer lines now? No. Oh. Two coats of this thick red paint. So, I mean, it's... Yes. Are you going to be a perfectionist? And Oh, my God. There's layer lines. Uh, Barry is not going to like this present with those layer lines. i got to reprint it. Jan's not going to like this. It's got layer lines. Oh, it's got some it's got some pimpling here. Some dimpling. Peter's not going to be happy. Look, man. Peter's going to be happy. You printed this. You sat here for an hour and painted this. Peter's going to be happy. I should switch to a uh, smaller brush. You know I like to get that coverage in there. Hard and fast. So what would this be? This would be a white belt, and I guess this would be right as well. This would be part of his, uh, his giddy up. Oh my god, a virus has been detected.
Somebody's penetrated my firewall. I'm being hacked on live television. Thank you, Windows. I don't care. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Painting a Pokemon. What's the deal with all these Pokemon shows on Netflix? Jesus Christ, they're weird. Yeah, let's get some battle down. Pokemon, you spin around butt attack. Ah. Why do you have to yell it? Like, go do it. Like, what? You gotta control this little guy? And he wants to fight for you all the time? Maybe he doesn't want to fight. Why do Pokemon want to fight all the time? I don't understand the story. Thunder and lightning. Fake. I don't know. What the hell is it? Oh, it looks like it takes place in Hawaii. Sun and moon. I don't know. I don't get it. I like the... I mean, the cards are cool. It kind of has a collectible thing about it. Go collect them cards. That's cool. I get that. Cartoon? That one movie that they have? Mewtwo Strikes Back? Jeez, man, it's weird. To each their own, and this little fat guy is cute, but... That's some weird stuff, man. Is it any weirder than a man in a spider costume? Yes, it is. Boop, 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 boop. Keep your brush strokes. Look, he's a fat guy in a suit. He can't have sloppy brush strokes. I won't have sloppy brush strokes. You're going to keep your brush strokes this way and this way. We're not going to have. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're not going up and down here. But one of those shows where they're battling and Mr. Ketchum comes from Pallet Town and he's like there's a Snorlax I'm going to use that fat guy I've never seen a Snorlax in battle he's always fighting with that Pikachu he's going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer in all of Pokemon land that's his goal. He always seems to get beat, though. Every time I watch him fight, the guy's getting beat like a, a rag doll. Uh, what would it be? Probably right here, red. I think this would be red. We're going to go with this red. And then the tip would be white. Mewtwo, what is it called? Mewtwo Strikes Back? Watch that movie, man. That's weird. A Mew versus a Mewtwo, and then they all clone each other, and then... Oh, it's just weird. Their mouth, their mouths don't move. Like, why doesn't their mouth move? Look at that evil Mew dude's talking, his mouth's not moving. You like Pokemon? Comment down below. I mean, I guess you're watching this video. You must like Snorlax. You must like Christmas. Or you must like... <coughs> Alright, so I would say that's all the red we need. We're going to have to let that dry. We're not going to be able to do too good today. Oh, don't forget that little crack down in here. Bango! Beautiful. Take your strokes. Different strokes. Alright, clean off your brush. Now time to move on. Now we need that blue color. We have to let the red dry if we're going to do that white. Because I don't want to make any pink on this thing. You try and do red and white at the same time, you're going to get pink. There's no pink on a Christmas Snorlax. Stop it. So we're going to have to use... We need this face color and we need this blue color. What do you think it is? A Pettywinkle blue? Pettywinkle blue? Pettywinkle blue. Comment down below what movie. Pettywinkle blue. Good movie. Funny movie.
it rhymes with patch. Comment down below. You ever seen it? Petty Oh, I think we need like this color. Let's check the uh let's check the uh well I thought it was that color, but I don't think it is now. What if we go with more of this color? Nope, not even close. Ooh, I guess I gotta go sky blue. I guess we're gonna start with this color. A light violet. Ooh, this could be sacrilege to all our Pokemon fans out there. Oh my god, it's purple. Pokemon people are out there are screaming at the computer right now. God damn it! Josh, what are you doing? Snorlax is clearly Cerulean blue. There's no purple in him. Don't you dare paint that Snorlax, Barba! And to those people, I say, come and get it. There's a little cerulean blue with a little dabble, do you, of uh, light violet. And again, this is the wrong brush. I gotta switch brushes here. I'm not going to get anything done with this brush. Ooh, that's big chunk. I don't want that one. Ooh, get a little water. Let's get a little on. It's upside down. I guess I can correct that in post-production. Ooh, the battery's going to die. You guys are going to lose some sweet, some sweet footage soon. And then it's just going to be you and me over there. This is a terrible brush choice. Instantly regret this brush choice. Instant regret. You too can make a Pokemon at home. This is a Christmas present. It is 13 days till Christmas, 12 days till Christmas, 10 days till Christmas, I don't know what the date is. It's coming, so we gotta get this done. I don't have any more of that blue to mix in here, so he's starting to go purple on me. Drop down, wiggle 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 wiggle. This is the last footage I can get out of this camera. Did we do the right color? Is it totally off? Do I not have nearly enough down there? These questions will be answered in the next 10 seconds. I don't have enough. Okay, let's go. There's nothing in here either. I should just throw some of the stuff away. Look. Think that's blue? I don't know. When it says ultra minute rain blue, they damn well mean it. Alright, let's take some of this purple with our ultramarine blue. And shimmy shang those together. And that looks too dark to me. We're going to add one dollop of daisy. I mean, some titanium white. It's not recommended to paint with uh, sour cream. Maybe it is. Maybe it's the coolest thing ever. <sighs> titanium white going on the floor. This is empty. Metallic white? Ooh! Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, I can see all the metallic flakes in there. Damn it, that's metallic. So metallic it hurts my eyes. No, it's not metallic at all. I'm just making things up. Once again, it goes. 
A little darker than that up there. A little purple. Hey, you Snorlax fans out there, comment down below. This is your time to shine. Too bad this isn't live. I could correct this on the fly at the behest of the fans out there. Is this a proper Snorlax color? Does this make our Snorlax fans out there happy? Sad? Angry? You let me know. Should he be more blue? Was my choice to go purple a better mistake? Are my hands red now? Because I'm grabbing wet paint. Yes. Well, we can always go back over. Because I like this color. It's mixed up. It's pretty. We could just go on some of those cards. You have like those halo ones and then the reverse halos. And then you have like the art, with the full art. Right? On some of those, the colors on these things change significantly. We're going to... Please remember, this is going to be hung on a tree. Might be on a low branch. Could be on a high branch. My point is, if you never think to uh, paint the bottom of your dudes, this one you should. Oh, this one you should. Painting Snorlax. So we can fill in some extra crappy, like uh, where the supports were stuck to the bottom here. Fill that in. Nice and thick. Boom. He's already a thick fella. Add some extra paint. No one will be any wiser. Nice and thick. One coat paint job. This is one out of a hundred on a tray. Damn, my palm's itchy. Does that mean that someone's talking about me? What's this camera doing? Facing that way. You missed my whole painting presentation. I'm going to fix this on the roof. The goal of this is one, <laughs> if I need to, two coats at most. Alright. If anybody does, after watching this video, hasn't uh, put up their tree yet, or has put up their tree, that would be really hard. Maybe when you're putting away your ornaments. Count them and let me know. How big is your tree? And how many ornaments are on it? Was I way off? With the 200? Was I crazy with the 100? Curious now myself. Remember, get every angle. Some angles that you might not even do. I know some of you guys out there are in painting the bottom of your models. Paint the bottom of this one. Look, I got a, a dot over here. Ew, I didn't even paint the rest of his hand right there red. I mean, what in the heck was I thinking? Space age Jesus. This little chunky hand over here, this little hand here. I guess we gotta darken it up up here. It'll look ridiculous if we go light and then go dark up here. We're going with a one coat paint on this one. Snorlax, you're getting one purple coat here. 
Or if he's supposed to be more blue. Worry. I like the purple. So all we have to do is touch up the red and then hit all this other stuff white. Oh wait, we still got to paint his skin. I wonder what color his actual facial skin is. It's got a tan. Almost done. Stick with me. We're almost done. Choo -choo -choo -choo. I'm not worried about coming in here with any shading or highlights or lowlights or any of that junk. It's a Christmas ornament. It's a Snorlax. I don't even think Pokemon people know how to highlight or lowlight or shade or anything like that. Alright, so we got to come in here with this face color, and then I believe the rest of this would just be white. Good. That this has to get out for a Sunday. Rendezvous. What did we use? We didn't have parchment. We used unbleached titanium. That's right. All right, so we gotta get this project done tonight. We're unbleached. Go up and let that brush. Uh, let's see. Come over here. Using a different light. To, I mean, not a different light. I just I didn't turn on the big overhead light tonight. Seeing if I can get different kind of a uh, different kind of uh, kind of feel. I think it's really this light that's in front of the camera. That's just bothering me. It's too much light, man. I want to see something different tonight, so that's why I'm. You know, it's good. I usually have blasting overhead lights. This, if I take that off tonight, I can see forward me to see some different highs and some different lows maybe some spots that I wasn't seeing before it's good to check your work different picture I mean different uh, lightings take it outside you know if you're working inside under some light take it outside tomorrow next day after it dries you might be surprised how different it looks in a different lighting uh, Lighting scenario. You might see some brush strokes you didn't see. Depends what kind of quality light you're using. If you're using a more <coughs> yellowish light, like on the, uh, the 2700 Kelvin on the lumen scale, you're going to have more of that yellowish old school light. If you have like a 5000 you're gonna get to that whitish bluish light I think that's ideal or if you're gonna get a mixture because under that yellowish light your uh, blues and stuff are gonna pop differently than than your reds trust me you get you look under some uh, get yourself a different bulb set up and look at your blues and your reds under those different two types of lights just just know if you paint under a 5000k and you take it into a 2700k environment your paint job is going to look different so my advice would be don't just paint under that 5000 6000 that high intensity whitish blue light because it's going to look significantly different when you change your environment. Alright, so that's good on the face. Catch good on the face. What do we have to do with fat feet? Yes, we have to go over his feet because apparently his feet are the same color as his face. We'll do something with his nails and we'll figure that out. I think the red looks good where we can get away with that two coat. I think the purple looks good. Get away with the whatever two coat there, which is good because I don't remember what I mixed up for that.
Oh, I'm gonna have to do a little touch up on the purple. Dang it. Dang it. It's supposed to be speed painting. Speed painting. Da, 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 thick. Speed painting. Insert that thick, heavy, fast. Mm -hmm. Alright. Remember, it's an ornament. Vantage point. Could be different than you think it's going to be. Paint the bottom of the foot. Mm -hmm. Rough we should have end up with. Ugh. Gotta get up in there. We got to get up in there, man. Right here. Right here, right now, right now. Uh, a little bit more unbleached. I guess if it was bleached, it'd be whiter. Is that what it is? It's titanium. It's, titanium is more of a uh, off white color. And if they put some bleach in it, then it turns into to, to white flour. Alright. So I met, if, it makes me wonder, if they specify that it's unbleached titanium, do they make bleached titanium? Because why say it if you don't make the other? So there must be a bleached titanium out in the wild. Ooh. Why not just call it white? This is white. We're going to call this white. But then it can't be their version of white. We need to have our version of white. Look, man. Our version of white is called titanium. Your version of white could be called white. But ours is special. It's titanium. When I think of titanium, I think of, like, a metal. It's titanium white. Alright, there we go. Now we got a fuss up right there. there Alright, we'll hit some back to the purple. That's it. Now we gotta bust out the white. Let's clean our brush. Now we have to find something called white. Nothing with the word titanium. Oh, shnankies. This one's called titanium, titanium white. Oh! Look at the difference. That's parchment. Get out of here, parchment. Fool. Wow, look at that. Made by the same company. Look at the difference. When he's not bleached. Oh! And when you throw some bleach in his face. Ow! Alright, so we need some white. <sighs> what do we have to do? We have to do his sack. Gonna do his coat. I should probably do his sack last because that's what I'm holding. Then I picked up the wrong brush if I'm gonna be doing the white first. Nuts. Nuts. Alright, now we're just putting the white in on his hat. Try not to get it on the purple, because I don't want to do the purple again. We got, I mean, we're going to have to do the purple again, but... This is where we can clean up. That's why we were allowed to be a little sloppier with all the other colors. Because we knew we were going to come in and finish with white. So if we went a little strong with the red, we're going to come in over with the white. You wouldn't want to paint around this one. That's why we're going to end with this one. It'll be like our, our fine, fine liner. Go in, do whatever we need to do. Cover up everything we need to cover up. Because it's thick enough. It's thick, we're putting it on thick. It's got a good viscosity. It's 
got a good opacity. I think when this is done, it'll look cute. And there'll also be a video to go with it. So if the recipient wants to see how it got made, wow, it's like you're giving two gifts. An ornament and a video. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Guess, sweetheart. Getting bad, I'll be right there. Daddy do the call. Yeah, good. <laughs> Alright, we're going to finish up with our Snorlax project. What did we use? Did we use this, uh... We don't know what color we used on the red. Probably just used from the pail over there. Didn't we? Let's go in. If you messed up anything, you gotta touch up anything. Get your touch ups done. Cause this is it. I'm gonna put that black on there for the belt. And we're gonna call this project. Bow, bow. Is there any blaring needs for red? touch-ups here and there. I don't even think this is the red we used. That's okay. Because it's just here. A little touch-ups. Right there. We need a dollop right there. And, oh yes, we need some over here. Very much so. Good. Cover that up. Cover that up. Much, much better. Excellent. Cover up here. Bang, 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 bang. Excellent. Let's see any more touch ups with the red. Red is dead. And then Mr. Snorlax is gonna be done. Do we have any black? Is that black? Mmm, more is black. Ooh, more is black. Alright, here's where I, I don't have much battery left on the old GoPro. I'm gonna try to rub the black in real quick. If we don't get it in, and I lose you, I'll show the other camera. Christmas time, New Year's time's coming. New Year's resolution to the channel. I will get an overhead camera for better steady cam shots of me painting from the top down in 2022.
go with at least the front camera, the GoPro for the cool up closes, and I would like to have a steady top down cam that does nothing. The top down. Oh. You know what? Looking back here, this, this white needs a uh, second coat. Everything's needed two coats. Why wouldn't the white? Well, the black's not going to need two coats. We know that for a fact. Alright. Like I said, the camera's going to lose its, uh, lose its juice. I'm going to finish doing the black here. And then I'm unfortunately going to have to bring out a little more white. At least for the sack. I don't think I'll do everything. I should rephrase. I'm not doing all the white again. I'm going to cheat it. I'm going to do the sack. Because the sack is so big. And if I leave it, it's just going to look unfinished. You can see the strokes over here. So I'll just drop a little, uh, little white back in. Cover up the brush strokes. And then punt that football. So, if you would, if you enjoyed the video, the old Snorlax Christmas ornament, I'll leave a link on to the location of the file on the Thingiverse. I think it was on the Thingiverse I found it. Uh, yes, please subscribe, like the video if you like it, tell me in some comments down below, let's get a chat going, I'll read your comment, and I'll talk about it in the next video, and if you do want to check out the uh, comic book show, movie show, Uncouth Comics, and it will be on Wednesday nights, and our next show will be on the 15th. Uh, so this video will not be out before then. So disregard. So after that, there might be one show before Christmas. Or this might be the Christmas show. And that show might not be back on until 2022. Uh, we do have previous work if you want to see. Belt's done. Good enough. We got the belt going. One coat. We're going to hit gold here, and I'm going to hit a little bit more white. Let me done. I might actually use Retributor armor. Citadel's Retributor armor. Bam. That's what I'm going to do. This is a cool looking piece. Who knew Warhammer 40k paint could be used to paint Snorlax's Santa Claus belt? Oh yeah. Grab your Retributor armor. Santa Claus. Snorlax style. 40k. Dirty in another brush. A 
Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I think that's good enough to call it. What's I wonder what he looks like. This is. Does he have a? Uh, is he supposed to have teeth? Snore. Relax. Not snorkel. Snore. Relax. Oh, so he does have a mouth. He should have a mouth. Let's give him just a fine. There we go. Snore legs. Oh, he could be yawning. I see. Yes, he could be going and those are teeth. We'll do. Oh, it's a red in his mouth. Like he's yawning. in or something. put red on this hat. Oh jeez. And with the top of red over here, and I'm done painting for the night. Here we go. 